No changes. Here are the starters for these three-year-old pacing Colts. Number one, Proud Sport, owned by Neil Miller of Beverly Hills, California, and by Gene Vallandingham of Long Beach, California, trained by Joe Anderson. He's the driver. 1A is Hot Pursuit, owned by John Leahy, Anderson Racing Incorporated, and Robert Ranquist, Jr., trained by Joe Anderson. Ryan Anderson is up. Two, Broadway Wade, owned by Benita Simmons and Helen Logan of Springfield, trained and driven by Tom Simmons. Number three is RH Positive, owned by Jim and Donna Krebs of Cantrell, trained by Jim Krebs, Tony Morgan in the bike. Number four, HR Sosa, owned by Jeffrey Eckberg of Rockford, Mark DePorter trains, and Brent Holland is the driver. Five is OG's Rep, owned by Bobby Dexter of Paducah, Kentucky, trained by Lyle McGilvery with Gary Mills in the bike. And number six, Super Personality, owned by the Sport and Life Racing Stable of Maywood, Illinois, trained by Doug Hamilton, the driver is Dale Heitman. This elimination division for three-year-old pacing Colts in the Illinois State Fair Colts Stakes will be at the post in less than five minutes. The top three finishers again guaranteed a spot in the $60,000 final rolling on Wednesday for the first half of the late double race 14. Here they come. They're off and pacing. OG's rep boils out for the early lead. Hot Pursuit is there between horses and Broadway Wade moving up down toward the inside. Broadway Wade and OG's rep slugging it out for the first eighth of a mile and OG's rep gets to the top now by a length and a half. Broadway Wade is second. RH Positive third and Morgan pulls the trigger right now. There goes RH Positive out and driving from the third position. He's now second on the outside. The opening quarter went in 28 and 1. Moving on the back stretch, RH Positive leads it by a length to OG's rep, Broadway Wade, Hot Pursuit, then Proud Sport, who is sitting in fifth, five lengths off the lead. Joined there by HR Sosa and Super Personality is the trailer. RH Positive leads them by a length toward the half. OG's rep is second, and now here comes Hot Pursuit on the outside. Hot Pursuit moving up from fourth into third, now going to second. HR Sosa on the move behind him, and Proud Sport is in the outer flow of traffic. But at the half, Hot Pursuit takes over the half in 57 and 3. HR Sosa goes second, three parts of a length now. RH Positive shuffled to third. Proud Sport flanking him. Super Personality to fifth. He's three lengths off the lead. OG Rep is next to last. And Broadway Wade is the trailer. Hot Pursuit leads them by three parts of a length past the three quarters. HR Sosa is next. Then RH Positive, three quarters and 126 and 2. Proud Sport will have to go three deep. He's fourth. He's lingering three lengths off the leader with an eighth of a mile to come. Turning for home now, it is Hot Pursuit who leads it by a length and a half and still HR Sosa and Proud Sport trying to get him. Hot Pursuit has been too much. Final try from HR Sosa. Hot Pursuit got it by a half length. HR Sosa crossed the line in second and then it was Proud Sport followed by RH Positive fourth and 152 and three. Our official four the 14th race, 1-4-1-3 one, one, official. If you were here yesterday, we told you that Ryan Anderson is the 20-year-old son of veteran horseman Joe Anderson. Ryan has won 100 races in Chicago this year. Yesterday, he made his Illinois State Fair debut. Today, he breaks into the State Fair winner's circle for the first time. 20 years of age, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Anderson. And he is joined by a flock of happy people. John Leahy, Anderson Racing Incorporated, and Robert Ranquist Jr. are the co-owners of this Sportsmaster Gelding, bred by Fox Valley Standard Breads of nearby Sherman. Joe Anderson is the trainer, as now Hot Pursuit goes 7 for 9 on the year and on his career. 152 and 3, just a tick off of his lifetime best. The 1-4 exacta, $9 even. Ed Teefee, I'll tell you what, if this keeps up, if Ryan keeps driving like that, I believe that uh, the owners might decide to pack up Joe and send him to the house. Let's go down to Ed Teefee. Thank you, Kurt Becker. With me, as you said, the 20-year-old son of the leading driver trainer in the nation, Joe Anderson. 
Ryan Anderson just a 20, he's won over 100 races now this year, but this is his first victory here at the Illinois State Fair, and I feel it's probably going to be the first of many, Ryan Anderson. Tell us a little bit about your feelings about racing here at the Illinois State Fair. Uh, this is a great opportunity for me to race here. Um, I'm, getting, I'm able to race at both tracks, Balmoral Sports uh, and Springfield. Uh, I'm just very fortunate that I got to race at Springfield uh, during this time. Ryan, your father is one of the uh, most noted uh, people in the, the sport across the country, a top driver, trainer. He's uh, raced a lot of great Illinois stars, uh, most recently, of course, uh, Big Tom. You're 20 years old. Can you remember when you first started thinking about being a harness race uh, driver, trainer, or did you always think you would, or did you have uh, baseball or football or something else in your dreams at one time? I played a lot of sports, but I went to the barn every Saturday worked very hard to obtain my license. I went through the qualifying stage, the P license, and I've obtained an A license at this time. So I've always wanted to do this. Ryan Anderson, I think, uh, is going to